the zoning board meeting to order. Uh, we have two agenda items tonight, and uh, the first one should not take very long. The first one has to do with 26 Green Street. It's a continuation. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold the continuance of a public hearing in the select board's meeting room, town hall, 16 Lowell Street in Reading on Wednesday the 7th of August at 7 p.m. on the application of Wade and Lorraine Wood, pursuant to MGL Chapter 40A, Paragraph 9, Section 9. For a modification of a special permit granted in case 1111 or a new special permit under Reading Zoning and Bylaw Sections 732 to convert storage space over above the garage into a master bedroom with three quarter bath to an existing single family dwelling at the property located at 26 Green Street in Reading. I won't go through the notification list. We've done that before. I don't see any need to do it again. Uh, and I don't see the Petitioner here, they have asked us to approve a continuation of that case until September 4th uh, of this year, and uh, I don't know that we need to have any discussion on this subject. Uh, do you have any comments to make? Uh, I, I would like we, to. I think we might have already made a motion and seconded to continue to May 4th. Have we done that? I think so. We did it until we, we, we did that at the last meeting to continue it to tonight. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Since we since we since right. we met, they've come into the town and asked us to continue it to the fourth of September. So I think we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we do that, I went through the. I couldn't remember much about the last meeting, so I went through. Right. I went through the video again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because we did make a request at that time for council input, okay? And in checking into it, uh, no action had been taken on that. And so I went and sat with Mark and Andrew mm -hmm. to discuss this whole thing. And the conclusion was, <coughs> correct me if I'm stating it incorrectly, Mark, we decided that you could amend a previous decision where the paragraphs no longer existed by merely referencing the applicable new paragraphs in the current zoning mm -hmm. law. Okay? And the conclusion was also that we would not need a variance, that you could approve what they want to do by special permit by referencing the appropriate paragraphs in the current bylaws, which allow them to do that, even for use. So that, that that's the conclusion what they right. talked about. Okay, so there's no action being taken at this point to carry this to council because it was considered by the no building period. commissioner and the and the planner that it wasn't necessary. Now anyone, I don't know whether anyone has a hang up with that or not. Okay, but barring any other any further discussion on that subject or c concerns about that, I think we can move ahead with acting on that case when it comes before us at right. the September meeting. Okay, any, co any comment on that? Anybody? No, no. Okay. Well, thank you for clarifying that, sir. Yeah. Well, I couldn't remember what we decided to do, although I knew it. I know right. we requested council opinion. Yeah. And, uh, and nothing had happened, so I just wanted to get that right. behind us or get it started one way or the other. So there we are. All right, with that, uh, I'll entertain a motion to uh, continue that case until September 4th. So moved. Second. Any second? Second. All in favor? Approved. I see the Okay. The next case before us this evening has to do with 11 Newton Lane. And I'll read the uh, notice. Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Select Board's meeting room at the Reading Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Wednesday, August 7, 2019, at 7 p.m. on the application of Brian Learned, pursuant to MGL Chapter 40A, Section 9, for a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw Sections 7.3 and 7.3.2, construct a two-story addition to 
to an existing non-conforming dwelling in regards to front setback on the property located at 11 Nugent Lane in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there's an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters have all been notified, as were the following. The Select Board, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, <laughs> Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commission, Assessor's Office, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the Planning Boards of Wakefield, North Reading, Woburn, Linfield, Stoneham, and Willington. Testimony given before this board tonight is taken under oath, so if you think you may want to speak, please stand and raise your right hand at this time. That applies to anybody who's going to talk at all. Won't do any harm, so why don't we all stand and... It doesn't hurt either. It doesn't hurt at all. And when the discussion gets going, maybe you want to talk, okay? I'm going to ask you to talk anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So... Please stand and raise your right hand and say, I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The answer is I do. I do. I do. Thank you, Chairman. Sure. Just so sad. I would like to ask you to give us a little presentation on your part as to what you want to do with that property. I didn't say that. Uh, so my name is Brian Leonard. I am the homeowner. Um, what we are looking to do is to uh, put an 18 by 24 foot addition off to the side of our house. Uh, currently we have three bedrooms in the dwelling. It is a split and we're looking to get another uh, essentially bedroom for the family. And uh, so with that we will add an 18 by 24 addition off to the right side of the house. Um, and we it should um, be no, no closer uh, yeah, on the front than the ex existing dwelling. So uh, that's why we're here for the special permit. Uh, I'll ask Mark to uh, get right his thoughts, or I could read into the record, first of all, what he has. He did reject your application, okay? And I'll read into the record here what that was. Please be advised that your permit application to construct the new 18 by 24 two-story addition to your existing non-conforming home, which in will increase the footprint, uh, has been denied. If you wish to proceed, you will be required to apply for and grant be granted a special permit by the Zoning Board of Appeals under Section 732 of the Zoning Bylaw, which says that we can do that, uh, provided that we feel that what you are asking to do will not be more detrimental to the neighborhood than what is there now. So I'll probably start over here with Kyle. Uh, do you want to add any more, Mark, to that? No, I think you covered it all, sir. Uh, Kyle, I'll start with you. Any comments? Uh, no, my general understanding is that you are at a, on a dead-end street. It is a cul-de-sac street. That is cul correct. Yeah, street. small. Yep. <clears throat> And essentially, you just want to stay within the existing kind of setback versus what the code is requiring. Correct. Based on uh, where it is today, we will stay within and actually be back up a little bit. That's correct. Yeah, I have no further comment at this point, just for the clarification. Nick? I think it's great you want to add the addition. I don't see any how this is any more detrimental to the neighborhood. And uh, you're not increasing the nonconformity, so I don't have any issues with it. Okay. Thank you. Bob? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, just to kind of go over a bit of the history here, seeing what I, I saw in the packet and whatever. Uh, the structure, the house itself, it looked like uh, from the assessor's cards, it was built in 1972. Uh, you have lived there since 2007. 2007, and it looks like Nugent Lane was accepted as a as a town road or a town street in 1995. Is that correct? Uh, from what I understand, the history that's that's, that yeah, is correct. From yes. what I read, yeah. yeah. When the house was built, 
display was out of town, except an accepted town street. I assume it was just a uh, private way of some sort. You know, to some degree, from what what I understand, it yeah. was actually 511 Pearl Street until the street came uh, later. So it was the only house in the existing area before the street came in later, and the houses were at the, I believe there's four houses on the street that were added later, so, or, or three that were added later, excuse me. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, the lot meets, it, it's an S20 zone, looks like the lot meets the area required for an S20 zone, I believe it also meets the frontage, and the only thing it is, when, when the town accepted it as a private, uh, or as a street town, uh, town road, uh, the street line layout now created uh, put the offset there, the front uh, front offset at the corner of the house, uh, right. less than what's required, the 20 feet. That's what it appears to me. Uh, it, 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 as uh, Nick said, he's not going to uh, increase any nonconformity that's there. He's actually putting the addition, stepping that back from the front of the house in order not to create a new non-conformity uh, on that. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, the addition would be uh, any more, or would be any, would cause any substantial detriment any more than what's there now to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would uh, support a special permit in this particular case. Thank you, Robert. Yep. Uh, uh, just a question from Mark real quick. Um, was there a previous um, case on this particular property? <clears throat> yeah, the, there's a couple previous cases going back to 91, 92, 93 regarding uh, variances regarding the setback of the existing house once the road was created to, uh, it was given a variance to not meet the 20 foot setback back in the 90s. Um, the sort of out of the ordinary thing was they were granted, as part of their variance, they were granted 11.3 feet from the street. But as it was constructed, it was constructed at 10.8. So technically, they were non-conformant to the variance they were granted back in the 90s. But the town took no action. So I don't think it has any bearing on the board today that the town took no action on that discrepancy of half a foot back then. Okay. So that's why right now I consider it a non-conformant structure because right. it doesn't meet the variance that it was given. So it's non-conformant versus by right as, you know, in place by variance. So is, is a, is a non, if a non-conforming rather than a non-conforming. True. Yeah. And because that's the way you're looking at it, you consider it non-conforming and under section 732, we can move forward um, and grant if we feel that there is sufficient justification on the environment. Right. Because if it had met the, the variance criteria that it was granted, it would be there by right, by variance, and it would, if it didn't meet any setback issues, then that you'd be looking for a variance versus a special permit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the only question I have, Mark. Oh, thank you. Eric? I don't have any questions or objections to the project. Last one to speak, and I think I uh, kind of echo the sentiments of everybody on the board. I mean, I, was, I really wasn't aware of the fact that the variance that you are, that the setback you have current now wasn't previously approved uh, 27 years ago. And it wasn't picked up, which probably should have been picked up at the time. Somewhere along the way, and at per certainly around that time, it was approved. So I don't really have any specific uh, problems with what you want to do either. Uh, before I ask uh, any for any comment for anybody else, I'd like to open it up to public public uh, 
comment. And so, is anyone here tonight who want to speak on this case before us? You're the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't come to make a comment on this particular application. My name's Jamie Maughan, 263 Woodward Street. But just a, a, a question from what I've just heard. Sounds like the house was there before the road was built. Is that correct? Correct. So they built the, they didn't build the house too close to the road to violate the setback. They built the road too close, too close to the house, to, the house to violate the setback. Yeah, and it, and it all had to do with uh, the width of the road required, uh, some wetland issues. So the road went where it had to go. Sure. That was purely out of curiosity, no, no other comment. Thank the, you. Though. The town created the, the problem. Yeah. Not, not the problem. Any further comment? No, thank you. And I'll close it to public public uh, comment. And uh, any more comments from the board on this case? No. Then I'll entertain a motion. I'll give it. Uh, I'll give okay. it a motion. Sorry. Uh, I'll make a motion uh, in regards to uh, case number nineteen fifteen uh, eleven New Jersey Lane. Mass uh, in the case of the applicant seeking a special permit under section uh, 3.2, 7.3.2 of the uh, zoning bylaws, uh, in order to construct a uh, an addition to their house at 11 Budget Lane. Uh, as shown on the certified plot plan submitted, uh, prepared by Sullivan Engineering Group and dated, or okay, Sullivan Engineering Group, uh, Wuben Mass, uh, dated 6-4-19 uh, and uh, stamped in, uh, si and signed by uh, John Sullivan and also in uh, general conformance with the uh, architectural plans uh, submitted, which are uh, A0, the title sheet, A0, A1, A2, and A3 for the addition, uh, which gives the uh, general floor plans and the building elevation for the addition. And also, will add some conditions to that, that the uh, petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan of their proposed construction and a proposed foundation plan prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. And two, that the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector final construction plans for the proposed structure or addition along with as-built foundation plan for the structure prior to the issuance of a building permit for the actual structure. The petitioner shall then submit, uh, uh, number three, the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector an as-built plan of the new structure prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit for uh, the new addition uh, on that. Do I have a second? Second. Nick, seconds. All in favor? Five, zero, zero. It's approved. If you'll stand by, I'll stamp a set of drawings for you, okay? Thank you. Days to write it up, and there's a 20 day appeal period. So, yeah. we can move ahead. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh, <coughs> we'll wait down on the side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That would be very nice. Okay. Anything else that anybody might want to discuss tonight before we uh, wrap it up? Mr. Chairman, can I just ask a quick question that's sure. not relevant to everything? Anything. Um, <clears throat> an application came in today, which I don't know the whole logistics, just Amanda asked me a question based on the three hearings per meeting. Um, it's there's already two hearings scheduled for night, both continuances, sometime in September. This applicant has two has some kind of relief, which I don't know yet, because I haven't looked at them. Would you you consider that two different hearings? I know it would be two different case numbers, but would you consider having those two at once so you almost have four at one meeting? They want to combine two lots into one? No, no. There's two separate house lots. They're gonna need each one's gonna need relief. So it's one applicant with two proposals. Be two two hearings. Hearings. I think that would be two hearings. That would be two separate applications. But the applicant will be here. The same applicant will be here for both of them. You so could I'm probably do them both on the same night. Yeah. But I think well, that... If we already have two scheduled, that would give you four. Or would you rather push them off until a night where there's only one, and then you'd have three? I would prefer to push them off. I would, okay. I just want right, to let her up. Nothing on the 18th, I don't believe, do we? I don't think so. I okay. prefer to push them. No problem. I just just yeah. asking. That's what, yeah. I think that'd be the preference. Thank you. Anything else? That's it. Okay. If there's nothing else, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Any second? Second. All in favor? We have adjourned. Okay.